Hey Clashers, welcome back to another TV Royale Best of Legendary Arena. I'm your host, B-U-Z-Z -Z Buzz. And I got an exciting replay, guys, featured on TV Royale. These two players are top dogs, 7,000 trophies each. Let's introduce them. Your bottom blue player, his name, Abdul Aziz. And his opponent in the top red, it's Frank Vargas. These two players are duking it up for real trophies. This is not an exhibition match. This is not your mama's backyard, boys and girls. This is the real deal. This might as well be some UFC level fighting here. <laughs> Abdul Aziz, so far gonna do a lot of damage to that left side tower. Frank, almost gonna completely ignore that. Actually does completely ignore that left side. Deciding that, uh, you know what, he's going to put it all on that right side tower there. Here comes the Dark Prince. Frank Vargas might as well be sprint spamming at this point. Abdul Aziz has to be a little bit wary of that. He will take a little bit of damage on that right side tower, but not too shabby. So far, boys and girls, it's a minute, 35 seconds left. These two players have made their mark, and uh, Abdul Aziz comes out on top so far. With almost half the tower done. You know what? That was only like, what, two Royal Guards? Three, maybe? Three Royal Guards did that much damage? That's outrageous. That is absolutely unacceptable. Supercell needs to, like, really look at that. This big old brawler gonna punch out two Spear Goblins before he takes an L. <laughs> I think that guy could take on a whole gang on his own. I think that's how strong he is, dude. He Without the princess tower there, what do you guys think? Can a goblin brawler, can the brawler take out a whole goblin gang on his own? I think he can. Without the princess tower, I think he can. I think he's just that big of a brute. This time, Frank Vargas not going to leave that left side up to chance. Does drop a prince on the defense here. This helicopter in the air is an Apache helicopter. It's doing so well right now. It's being uncontested. It's almost like nothing can compete with it in the air. Might as well be a bald eagle. Might as well be a hawk. Might as well. We got pigs on the left side here. Oh, no. They're doing so much damage. Oh, my God. That's so much damage. Abdul Aziz. Going to be feeling very good about that, but he has to defend against this right side pressure, which actually looks very, very devastating right now. Vargas can support that with a clutch fireball, sort of does, sort of doesn't, but he does bring himself well back into this game. Going to bring that right side tower to 800, while his left side tower is at 1,000. So right now, Abdul Aziz needs to be a little bit wary. He does send out the pigs. Very good choice there. Going to bring that tower down to 600. Going to put him back into the lead. He has to defend. It's overtime, guys. So, the next tower, that does go down. It's GG. This goblin giant is so dedicated to that right side tower. Does go down in the process. Meanwhile, the left side, this might be it for Vargas. The fireball coming in here, but I don't know if it's enough. The fireball and the zap, but the fireball from Abdul Aziz as a reversal. <laughs> fireball for fireball. Frank has to put it all on the line, but those zappies are just too good on defense. Abdul Aziz should be able to rotate peacefully back to a fireball. And here we go, folks. This is it. G. G. Come on, Abdul. Abdul says, you know what? I don't even need to win my spells. I'm going to send my pigs on the right side there. Despite what Vargas says, despite the protests, <laughs> Abdul Aziz wanted to play a little bit with his opponent there. But he realized that, you know what, it's a little bit risky. I'm just going to all in that left side right now. And gets the W. What a play. Abdul Aziz is going to take this one from Frank Vargas. Woo! These are, these are kind of getting exciting. I'm going to watch another one, guys. I'll see you in the next replay.